YouTube, how's it going? Frogs Angels is back, and we're discussing the GOAT. Maybe the hottest debate in sports right now. Who is the real GOAT? Is it LeBron James or Michael Jordan? I just wanted to give my stance on this, uh, my position, because it is maybe one of the most popular topics at the moment in the sports world. As you can see, maybe not the longest video, and that's because I have a pretty firm position on this. My stance is firm. So, uh, you know, some, things, some videos I make going over debates could go either way. Sometimes I can convince myself. I can argue both sides so they go on a little longer. This is a pretty, pretty simple one in my mind. Even though these are the two best players in NBA history, pretty clear. Even though who I don't choose, I do think very highly of. But uh, just, let's, let's just get into it. I think Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. And I'm going to give you three keys and key reasons why. Michael Jordan is greater than LeBron James. There's more than three, but there's three huge reasons maybe people aren't really thinking of or talking about enough, uh, but we'll go into them here. Number one, probably the biggest one that stands out to me, is, is Michael Jordan 6-0 in the finals, and LeBron James is 3-5. and This is actually being recorded after game one of the 2018 finals. Incredible, incredible performance by LeBron James, I might add. Um, but nine appearances for LeBron James. So he could be three and six after the 2018 finals. He can be four and five. Uh, either way, very impressive. But the six and oh for Jordan. Six and oh, six rings, MVP of all six. But the main thing is here is why all of a sudden is, is I know LeBron's won three finals and could possibly win four here, and he's still he's still going. So this this could be this could change, honestly. My stance on this in the future, we'll have to make a future one. Uh, but why is coming in second place all of a sudden super important? I know he's won three, but people just think since he went more times than Jordan, he's better. But nobody really remembers who, unless it was recent, who got second in any sport, any championship, and all of a sudden it matters. Like, I would like to think it matters. The team had a great season, but nobody ever remembers. You talk about NFL, basketball in the past, you start to forget, and all of a sudden we're just only going to remember when LeBron James got second in, in the NBA in the finals. So it never really was in that important. So all of the, I think people are bored. I think people are bored. They really want to make this debate. Um, but coming in second, people forget about that down the road. Uh, why, why, are we, why is it very important in this, in this debate? I don't know talk about and I cover a lot of NFL I, I don't even I know a lot about the NFL I don't remember who got second a lot of years I mean the recent years we remember but I don't know I don't know why it's all all of a sudden super super important but and that that's a big reason Jordan 6-0 in the finals I know LeBron went more times um, but there's more, more to go over here number two the second key reason Jordan greater than the Chicago Bulls you might be asking what what the heck does that mean uh, this is a very interesting thing that no one's really talking about here is you got to look at it this way would Jordan would have Jordan beat the Bulls if Jordan was playing against the Bulls without Jordan I, I'm pretty darn sure I'm very confident he would have beat him and you people compare the Warriors right now to the Chicago Bulls LeBron's objective is to beat the Warriors maybe one of the best NBA teams of all time you look at the Bulls the Jordan era Bulls the best NBA teams of all time so I think Jordan would have beat the Bulls. You see, the year he retired for baseball, the Bulls couldn't do it. Even though Scottie Pippen, maybe the one of the best of all time too, maybe without Jordan, he would have been much better. But I know LeBron did beat the Warriors once now, could beat him again this year. But I, people just aren't thinking about this. Could, have Jordan, could Jordan beat the Warriors now? I think he would have beat the Bulls pretty easily then. Uh, just something interesting to think about, in my opinion. I People don't really think about that. Just put put Jordan in LeBron's shoes. I know people have their opinions on that, but and then the key reason, the third key reason, is everyone wants to be like Mike. You, what I mean by that is there's so many people that are born now. They're being born right now. Kids being born. Kids very young age never saw Michael Jordan play they want to be like Mike they want to be Michael Jordan without Michael Jordan basketball isn't where it is today uh I mean yeah again there's there's people that aren't from Chicago that love Michael Jordan and didn't see him play which is nothing wrong with that that's not my point it's just 
there's people like that for LeBron James too, but it's not even close. Jordan Jordan era has been done for a long time, a long time now, and, and there's no there's no athlete like that in the world for any sport, not just basketball. There was no there's no player everyone wants to be like unless they're playing now. You talk about soccer, the biggest sport, football, I should say, the biggest sport in the world. Cristiano, everyone wants to be Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi. They're playing right now. Uh, people do want to be LeBron James. They're, he has a huge fan base, but the numbers for Michael Jordan are much greater, and he hasn't played in a long time. There's people that just never seen him play. They may have never even seen seen replays or videos on him, and they want to be like Mike, and that is ridiculous. You don't see that in any sport, and that that's be, it's because what he did on the court. It's because how good he was, how much of an icon he was. He he made basketball what it is. Basketball would still be insanely popular, but Jordan makes it that much more popular, and he hasn't played in a long time. So I mean, this is just my this is just my opinion. Everyone has their opinion. I'm not going to argue uh, big time on it. Uh, LeBron can take over the goat, really. If he wins this finals, that's another debate. That'd be very impressive, uh, insanely impressive game one. Just ridiculous. Uh, 51 points, I believe it was. 55 Jordan's record. So right there with them. Uh, but still couldn't win the game. It's just I guess that says more about the rest of his team. How, uh, how weak they are, I guess. But that'll do it for this one. Pretty quick one. Just wanted to give my point out there. Uh, it's, a, it's a hot topic, so I, I just thought, why not? Uh, but we got plenty of sports coverage, mainly covering the NFL here at Frogs and Angels. Uh, daily uploads. Appreciate everyone's support. Goal is 10K subscribers, so please help us get there. If you have not clicked that subscribe button yet, please do so. Uh, appreciate everyone's support. That'll do it for this one. Goodbye.